Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In previous video, we have discussed about the uh, some of the repository interface exists in a Spring data, right? So in previous video tutorial, we had talked about uh, like uh, repository, uh, CRUD repository as well as uh, there was third repository interface is called sorting uh, paging paging and sorting repository right and these all three repository interface is the part of the spring uh, spring common data uh, project and we had also talked about the uh, jpa repository and that's the part of the uh, spring data jpa project so in this video mainly we are going to focus on uh, interface is called crud repository so I will create a demo project and uh, we'll see how to perform the basic CRUD operation provided by the uh, CRUD repository API. So let's go ahead and create a, uh, a Spring Boot project. So uh, right click over here, go to the new and here uh, I get the option a Spring Starter Project because I have installed STS plugin in my Eclipse. So let's click over here and here you need to specify the project name. I would say project name as uh, people management people management a spring boot data app and package name I'm going to specify com dot infotech dot people management dot app so that's the package name I have given and same package name I'm going to specify over here and uh, rest of the things I'm going to keep as it is now click on the next now here you need to uh, select I mean uh, required dependency which is which is uh, which is mandatory for your uh, application right so here you have a different section right so if you go to the down then you have a sql section if you expand this one then we are going to select jpa as a, a starter project uh, for our project and database i'm going to select as mysql because we are going to uh, use mysql database and rest of the things as rest of the things is not required for this project so after selecting these two things uh, within the SQL, let's click on the uh, next and finish. So now Eclipse uh, has started creating that project in this workspace. And here you can see we have created people management a Spring Boot data app. Now if you expand this project, then if you expand maven dependency then you can see all uh, all jars which is required to develop our application is added so here you can see all basic jars from the spring spring boot right even for mysql that is also getting downloaded and added in our class path right so now this is our uh, Maven has its own, uh, I mean, directory structure. So if you go to the HRC main Java, then you have a package, which package we had given at the uh, project creation time. And we have, we have a class, is called People Management Spring Boot Data App Application, that is created by default by uh, by a Spring Boot. And this class is called Bootstrapping class, because uh, if you are working with the Spring Boot application, then this is the class from where your application starts running. This contains main method as well, right? So here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create uh, some classes. So first of all, we are going to create an entity class. If you would have worked on the, any kind of ORM tool like Hibernate, Ibertage or some other kind of ORM tool, then you might have aware about this. So here, package name I'm going to give entities. and uh, class name i'm going to use as a person 
so this would be the our entity class name now this class i am going to annotate as at the rate entity and import will happen from the java x dot persistence so this is uh, java J sorry jpa compliant annotation so let's make an import from java x dot persistence now before this class i'm going to annotate as at the rate table and table name we are going to specify if you do not specify table name and if you allow uh, spring data apa uh, jpa to create table for you then by default that will create a table name with this class name but uh, if you want table name to be created with the specific name then you need to specify you need to use at the rate table and you need to specify the table name so i would say person person underscore table so that's the table name i want to create now i'm going to add some fields like private int id now private string first name private string class name private string email so this is a person email who wants to register basically private date i would say so i would say creation date Control shift o for organizing import let's import on the java.util and there is some typo so let's make it correct now i want this property uh, as a primary key so let's annotate this property as the rate id now i'm going to annotate this uh, property as at the rate generated value because we don't want to send value for this from java right so these things uh, i want should be managed from the database itself as a auto increment right so that's that's what we have this annotation now next thing i'm going to use a uh, column so if you do not specify column name and if you allow jpa to create table for you while running this application then property name to be taken as a column name but we don't want that one we want to specify our own column name right so here let's specify the column name for each property and here i would say person underscore id first underscore name then column we want for this property is last underscore name uh, i want to keep column name as email itself now last but not the least we have a creation date that we want to manage as well so that's it if you want to add some more property you are free to add, uh, add more property but i am going to freeze up to this now here i am going to create uh, public getter method so select uh, select getter so this will generate the getter methods for us and i want to create uh, I, I want to create a constructor to initialize this property of course you can use setter method as well but uh, here i want to create a constructor so that uh, instantiation and initialization i can do together that's it so it's pretty straightforward right it's an entity class now now here uh, here uh, along with column you can get a lot of attribute like uh, you can specify the length length if you do not specify then uh, uh, i mean a spring jpa will take a uh, default length like 255 uh, character long but here i want to specify 60 here you can specify some uh, attributes like null level null level equals to uh, false that means this is not going to accept null value for this property 
and same I'm going to specify for the last name as well right and here unique unique attribute also you can apply unique equal to true so that uh, two person cannot cannot use the same email address that's the so this column value will be unix that's the significance apart from that we have a lot of attributes and these attributes are self-explanatory so you can go and try it and for rest of the property we'll discuss in the next video series so as of now no need to worry about this so we have created our entity class from scratch right now now we are going to create our uh, service class so that service class will end with the dot service and the service class name I'm, I'm going to specify as people management uh, here we are not going to create interfaces directly I'm going to create a class if you would like to create an interface and uh, you want this class to implement that interface of course you can do that as we do in the industry uh, I mean real project but this project we basically we are created just for the demo purpose so directly I'm going to create the class itself so people management service I would say and this is the class now next I'm going to create a our dog class as well so let's create a class and this will end with the dog and I would say people management management dog and, and this dog class basically I'm going to sorry this dog class we have to create as interface because we are going to use JPA provided interface so you will have to write your own interface and that will extends extends CRUD repository so CRUD repository right and here you need to specify your entity class name so that is nothing but the we have a portion class and second attribute you need to supply your primary key type and that is nothing but the integer right so that I have specified that's it and this method basically I'm leaving this interface I'm leaving as a blank because uh, parent interface contains some CRUD related uh, method so basically in this demo we'll try to uh, uh, use these already existing methods right but uh, still you can add your own custom method in this interface if you want those things we'll see in the uh, next video series but in this video and next video we'll try to first perform the CRUD operation which is provided by this uh, CRUD repository interface after that we'll see how to write the custom method if you want to add some custom method in this uh, people management do, uh, do, then how we can do that now this interface this class service class i'm going to annotate it as at the rate service method there and this is one of the uh, stereotype annotation and that annotations we have discussed in the uh, spring basically uh, spring videos so we have a series of videos I had uploaded for the spring framework and there we have discussed about this stereotype annotation right still I will explain you what's the meaning of at the rate service right so if you if you annotate a class with at the rate service then a spring container will instantiate this class as a service class and that will keep into the container and later point of time you can ask from the spring container uh, to give me instance of this class uh, what would be the name of this inst uh, this class uh, I mean instance of uh, instance of this class will be created by the container name of uh, name of this instance will be people management service with first letter is small if you want the some specific name then you can specify in the bracket so but I'm going to leave for the default one right so we have a main class we have a entity class created we have a service class and we have also dog class right so everything is on the place uh, still there are some of the things which you need to I, I need to update so uh, I'm running out of time rest of the code I'm going to complete in the next video so please be over there and thanks for watching this video and see you next video